President Trump needs to tell these kids to get back in school and leave politics to the adults. Chris Badger Thomas Right Wing Tribune During Saturday's Student March for Gun Control, Parkland shooting survivor Delaney Tarr made clear that she and other gun controllers plan to parlay a bump stock ban into numerous other gun controls, Breitbart reports. These little brats are throwing temper tantrums and they have no idea why as well as the sickening indoctrination they are guzzling. They will never stop, they believe in what they are doing and they honestly believe they can abolish the Second Amendment. This is a blatant attack on freedom and your rights, yet people are just sitting silent and on their collective butts. Parkland student Delaney Tarr, when they give us that inch, that bump stock ban, we will take a mile. Hashtag March for Our Lives pick.twitter.com slash Z6 Club 91, Kira Lerner, at Kira underscore Lerner, March 24, 2018. Tar's statement exposes the threat to freedom tied to the bump stock ban from day one. After all, bump stocks do not convert semi-automatic firearms into automatic ones, so banning them, as if they do opens the door to banning numerous other devices that do not convert the actions of semi-automatic either. Former ATF gun tech chief Rick Vasquez sounded this alarm in January when he warned that a bump stock will lead to other bans. He told the Military Arms Channel, so ATF's been directed to write a regulation with the strength of a law. He said the advance notice copy of the new rule makes clear that the ATF's new regulation will ban any device that automatically resets a firearm and enhances the rate of fire. He added, they are trying to target binary triggers bump stock, devices, and other devices, but that is such broad language, can I take that to a Gatling gun? So now you start stretching this, new, definition, and who is going to decide what the, standard, rate of fire is? In other words, Vasquez, is saying a this new ban simply opens the door to stretching the language to cover other devices, as the ruling class sees fit. Obama singled out the student activists, in a Saturday tweet saying he was so inspired by the high school students. Former President Barack Obama told attendees at a conference in Japan on Sunday that he is looking to shape a million young leaders in his image to help the human race. If I could do that effectively, then, you know, I would create a hundred or a thousand or a million young Barack Obamas or Michelle Obamas, Obama told the attendees. Or, the next group of people who could take that baton in that relay race that is human progress. Breitbart gun control proponent and Parkland shooting survivor David Hogg was mocked on Twitter for raising a clenched fist in what some saw as a Nazi salute following promises to secure more restrictions on the Second Amendment. Hogg gave a four-minute address at the end of the Washington, D.C. March for Gun Control and included promises to vote out congressional members who side with the NRA. He said politicians were shaking over the students' march for gun control and bustle quoted him saying, Let's put USA over the NRA, pic.twitter.com slash pt9gxgox, Michael C. D. Mayu, at Moonlight Amayo, March 24, 2018 This is getting way out of hand and it is because the government refuses to tell them to get their little butts back in school and leave the Second Amendment alone. These little lunatics have no idea that they are pushing for complete submission, loss of freedom and create an America where we the people are walking victims. Chris Badger Thomas is a veteran who served our country as an Army combat medic. Together we will make America great again. Dean James the 3rd percent America's freedom fighters follow us on Facebook at Nation in Distress.